Hi, this is John from johnesberg.com. Time for a tutorial on how to use the adjustment brush to do a shortcut where you don't need Adobe's Photoshop to actually do tricks on the sand. In this case, we're just going to be writing on the sand using the adjustment brush. Jump into the adjustment brush, hit K. Nice little shortcut right there. You can always go click on the symbol if you want, but this saves you time. All right, we're going to be working with a mask. We're going to keep it just as a new one, of course, since I don't have another one out there. Brand new photo. With all my effects, I'm going to stay with exposure. And as you can see, I have amount, my amount on the exposure all the way down, or I can keep it all the way up at the top. So we'll just do up at the top. Either way, you don't want to be in the middle because you want to see actually what you're doing. You want to have an extreme change in exposure. So come on over here. I can use writer, the right bracket, for example, to maximize my brush as much as I want, or I can minimize my brush to what I think is actually more appropriate for the image. And get it tweaked in there. All right, let's write in the sand. I recommend doing this with a mouse and not with the pen with the pad that you find on your keyboard. It makes it really difficult as you're flicking your finger around. All right, so let's drag it across the image. You can see right away the exact effect you got. I'm just going to write my name in the sand. It's nice. You don't have to do an export. You don't have to wait for Photoshop to sit there and make this B footage for you. And when I say B footage, I'm saying you can use this as a filler or for writing a message at the beginning or the end of a presentation. Maybe somebody had a beach wedding and you wanted to do something cute like this for them. Real easy to do. You don't have to have a PhD in art history or anything to pull this off. Just real simple. All right, there. And so you can see the effect. It's, I've whited it out essentially by having the exposure set so high. I'm going to drop it down. I think it actually looks better, and I'm sure you do too, if you just have it slightly darker than the surrounding sand. That takes a little dialing in, but you can get there. And that's actually kind of tolerable. But go ahead and experiment with it some. Um, if you don't like the effect, you can always hit the uh, nuclear bomb and go Control shift r Makes everything go away, and you're starting from scratch essentially again. And as you know, you can carry this on through the rest of your development process. And to step back out again, I'm going to hit K, and I'm going to end this tutorial. So this is John with johnesberg.com, and I hope you enjoyed this.